life as an LPN student had gotten pretty stressful. There was only one thing to do. Go on a shopping road trip. Only one problem, Danielle gets carsick. Mariel gave Danielle gravel. Gravel works by blocking the input your body feels when you are nauseated by certain movements that makes you feel like you're going to be sick. For some, it could be the simplest thing as a roller coaster or a car ride, and, so, and for some, it could be just a presentation. So when you feel nausea, dizziness, and or are vomiting, it's best to take gravel to treat your symptoms and prevent motion sickness. drowsiness, and blurred vision. You should avoid driving until you know how you'll respond to it. Other possible side effects include headache, paradoxal excitation, hypotension, palpitations, constipation, diarrhea, dry mouth, dysuria, and photosensitivity. Gravel is contraindicated in hypersensitivity and in people with a known intolerance to alcohol. You should talk to your healthcare provider before taking gravel if you have ankle closure glaucoma, prosthetic hyperplasia, or a seizure disorder. Gravel should be taken as directed. If you experience dry mouth while taking gravel, you can chew sugarless gum or candy and perform good oral hygiene. This should help subside the dryness. Gravel can cause photosensitivity, so be sure to wear sunscreen. Avoid alcohol and other CNS depressants while you are taking gravel. Gravel is available over the counter at most pharmacies. For adults, there's liquid gels and chew tabs. There is also the gravel ginger non-drowsy for during the day. For children two years of age and up, there's the liquid form and chew tabs. But if they're both unable to keep their medication down, there's a gravel suppository available for both age groups.